Geosynthetic clay liners have greatly benefited waste disposal and liquid containment infrastructure over the past 40 years, in large part due to the enormous amount of standardized data available to designers on these products and their various components. Proper hydration of a geosynthetic clay liner is essential to its performance in an engineered barrier system. To utilize these materials, designers need to understand what laboratory tests and industry guidelines can responsibly support their work. Certain tests should not be used for design. Here, we recreate what has been called the quick water test as a way to emphasize what designers should never use when working with geosynthetic clay liners. The quick water test found its way into the geosynthetics industry around 2012 and has been used by some as a sales tool, though its setup can imply that it delivers design-relevant information. Neither this test nor the testing apparatus reflect any standardized test method for geosynthetic clay liners from any recognized industry testing organization, such as ASTM, ISO, and GRI. The quick water test was designed to compare the immediate sealing performance of a geosynthetic clay liner with a powdered bentonite core and one with a granular bentonite core. The test, however, is not representative of any real-world circumstance. It is also highly variable. The results cannot be consistently replicated, yet the look of the test can be convincing. It's important to recognize why this test is incorrect for geosynthetic clay liner containment designs. Essentially, the apparatus is a modified falling head permeameter. It uses spring-loaded seals to lock its samples into side-by-side -side chambers for comparative analysis. A reservoir below each specimen collects leakage. The samples are cut directly from geosynthetic clay liners in their as-received condition, which by industry standard should not exhibit a moisture content of greater than 35%. As in the original 2012 Quickwater test, we have used a granular bentonite geosynthetic clay liner sample, seen here on the left, and a powdered bentonite type, seen here on the right. The test begins with a liquid directly applied to the geosynthetic clay liner samples. This goes against multiple basic boundary conditions for geosynthetic clay liner use in the field. 1. We are not placing the geosynthetic clay liner over a representative soil. 2. The bentonite has not been allowed to hydrate before the test. And 3. A free head of liquid has been rapidly placed directly upon the geosynthetic clay liner. Furthermore, and contrary to common composite lining systems, there is no geomembrane installed above. Still, no leakage is observed, save for some that seems to have slipped around the side of the powdered bentonite sample. These specimens have done exactly what bentonite of appropriate quality is expected to do in a geosynthetic clay liner. Hydrate efficiently in contact with liquid and swell to form a hydraulic barrier, regardless of whether the bentonite is finely graded or in powder form. As such, the quick water test fails to be representative of real-world field responses of geosynthetic clay liners. This test should never be used for product evaluation or selection. It does not provide design-useful information. So, how should we verify the quality of a geosynthetic clay liner and its bentonite? How can we identify proper hydraulic conductivity performance for containment system design? We can refer to accepted standards, guidelines, and test methods that use a flexible wall permeameter. This apparatus allows the user to control the hydration process, the confining stress, and the head pressure placed on the geosynthetic clay liner. Thus, the hydraulic conductivity of a geosynthetic clay liner sample is measured under more representative boundary conditions that more closely model real project conditions. The quick water test does not do this. Though the quick water test was originally created to suggest a performance difference between finely graded granular bentonite and powdered bentonite, that misconception is debunked quickly by the variability of the test itself and, more importantly, by the proper use of internationally accepted standards and guidelines. These accepted resources support what is needed for barrier system design. Proper boundary conditions and appropriate quality of bentonite 
and a well-constructed geosynthetic clay liner.